Hello reviews and here today I'm going to be going over another trap tricks. This is going to be the episode 2 of it and today we're going to be covering the fake page scam. This is definitely something that we see very common today when we actually seen this blow up massively with jokes up and I actually did a full documentary on LB so if you're interested go check that out. It is very in depth and it actually covers this whole topic as well but let's get more into it. So brands know that people buy off hype and word of mouth. When a person posts that the brand they started has actually been faked and someone has stole their idea, this actually shows the consumers that the idea that they had was not only a solid enough one to steal, but it actually shows that that person probably has status that they might not have been aware of. But of course, sometimes brands are faked. So this is well known. Everyone knows that there are sometimes that they will fake bags. And there's a whole street in California where they sell different fake bags. Hello, guys. This is Zach with Cash Only. We're in downtown LA right now about to check out the wholesale district for cannabis ancillary products. So if you want a semi-legal or underground brand and want to make booted, let's say, Trubinsky or cookies. This is where you get your Mylar bags. This is where you get your jars. This is where you get your empty vape carts, all in one outdoor bazaar of sorts. If we eat the gold rush, these are the guys selling the pickaxes. Cash only. But as I mentioned before, Runtz has gained a lot of status off of these fake bags and they could even say it themselves. Used to seeing brands get to. I feel like one of the things was the whole meme of the fake runs. That's that's really that's really too. You know, it was literally everything, bro. Everything possibly that you could think about fucking branding. It was it. The fake runs helped it a lot. Really. You know, they're making fake ass because Obama runs was fake. Really, it was yeah, always fake. It was that was never real. We wow. heard the fucking meme going crazy. I immediately what. Oh, we're making a song. We're, we're doing Obama runs. We're making the whole shit. Mm. And then even my business partner, like, shit, we're, we're doing it. We made, we made, we even had Obama runs t-shirt. We sold 20,000 units of it, bro. Isn't that crazy that once people start bootlegging shit, that they might think of good ideas that you haven't even had yet? That shit was... So, them talking about this in the ways that they have has made this well known to the masses. This is actually something that is somewhat well known. So, even me doing this video, I kind of know that some people are already going to be aware of this, but... This is definitely not only a interesting mental game where it's going to make you have more of an appeal for it and actually make you desire the opportunity to try it even more, but it's also going to make you potentially repost their their situation. Some people might feel like a good guy and they might feel like a very generous person and they might go out of their ways to post and say oh this person's brand has been faked what that actually does is give that person a great opportunity for a repost and in today's game it's kind of all about a repost it's kind of all about you getting post on people's stories so that other people can see you because people are trapped on their phones nowadays so people are finding new ways to actually pull scams on the people through their phones through just social media and whatnot and this is definitely going to be something that I cover in this little mini series. So if this is something that interests you today, then definitely hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. I will have a lot more content coming in the near future. And this one was definitely one I felt was necessary. So if you enjoyed it, let me know.